preparing to film. Clean the lens before shooting as the lens tends to gather a lot of dust. This may mean that you need to remove any case that the phone is in. Take a cleaning cloth and wipe each part of the lens carefully. Consider the space in which you're filming. Is it a public space and is it very busy, as this could change the quality of your audio. In order to ensure the best high quality filmed footage, use a stable surface and a tripod. Clip your phone into the tripod and prepare to film. Now go into your phone settings and scroll down to the camera icon. In camera settings, turn on the grid option. This will help with the composition of your footage. Next, choose the quality that you wish to record in. 1080p will also determine the size. Go into flight mode in order to ensure that you have no notifications or calls disrupting your video. Go into camera, press on the screen to correct the brightness and then get ready to film. If you are struggling with getting crisp audio, there are external mics that you can buy as add-ons to your smartphone or tablet. For example, you can use a lapel mic that is good for interviews and for voiceovers that will clip onto the top of your shirt. Or you can use an adaptable handheld recorder that can be used for both interviews and to capture surround sound. For interviews, clip your lapel mic into your external recorder in order to capture the best quality sound. When you're filming outside it's important to think about the light and the focus. Tap onto the screen of your mobile device to trigger the autofocus recognition. Light can also have an impact on the autofocus of the camera. Therefore adjust the light to the desired level and prepare to press record. The best way to focus on an object is to use the AE-AEF lock, which stands for Auto Exposure Auto Focus. Hold down your finger on the screen and you will see the AE-AF lock grid appear at the top of your screen. When recording from outside to inside, your phone will want to automatically change its exposure. Change this by pressing on the screen and the yellow exposure box will appear. You'll see the brightness go up and down. Press downwards to bring in the shadows and more contrast as you film inside. In your settings, you'll be able to use the grid icon. Using the grid settings is really important when filming outside or inside. Here we're looking at the rule of thirds and it is a reference guide that's quite handy for figuring out the framing of a subject, object or a background. In applying these principles you'll benefit by getting the correct horizontal balance in your shot. And filming with a smartphone it is key to do this landscape and not portrait for best quality footage and to get the most out of the grid setting rule of thirds. There are nine boxes with two vertical and two horizontal lines. Where the lines intersect is your point of interest. The top horizontal line is the eye line, no matter what the shot type. Allow movement in your footage when filming inside and outside. Use 
both hands, one on the tripod and one to steady the camera in order to provide the best quality footage. When filming inside, you can add a panning shot to show your audience more of your environment and a fuller frame. This will give them more details of the objects and surrounding areas and give them a little bit more of a taster of where you are. Try different angles if the natural light is not working in your favour. When filming inside, you may consider using a camera tilt shot. A camera tilt is when you move your camera up and down on a vertical axis. This is similar to a pan shot, but only vertical, showing the height of, of an object and its depth. you may consider using a close-up shot. This shot will provide an in-depth look at exactly what is being filmed in frame and feature more areas of the object or artifact to showcase better detail of it. Hold the tripod to give a steady closer look and it can also add in small amounts of movements to your shot. Filming outside with a mobile phone or tablet, you need to consider your light source Make sure that you don't film with the light coming at an angle or downwards as you might have a lens flare appear on the screen. Try moving to a different area that might have some shade whilst filming outdoors, especially in bright sunlight. When filming outside, it is important to consider using a full shot. This composition will show the entire structure of the object and give the audience a full frame shot of the environment so that they can understand where they are and what type of location it is. Now think about using a zoom lens shot whilst filming outside. A zoom shots are camera shots that change the focal length of the lens during filming. This action can either be zoomed in or out Keep your mobile device on the tripod and for better stability keep it placed on a flat surface. Next, by gently touching the screen with your fingers slowly zoom in on the object. You will be able to slow this down in post-production.